current from the rectifier is supplied to the rotor winding through collector rings on the shaft. The incoming AC to the rectifier is supplied from a dedicated transformer. The primary side of this transformer is fed from an auxiliary bus, or in some cases, the generator bus itself. The sine wave for the incoming three-phase AC voltage, which is applied to the rectifier, will look like this. After rectification, the DC output can be represented by this curve, and this may be further smoothed to look like this. The level of DC voltage can be adjusted by controlling the firing of a thyristor-type rectifier. The firing circuit is controlled by the field voltage regulator. This regulator has two inputs, manual and auto. The manual control disconnects the automatic function and allows the operator to directly control excitation. However, when the generator is in operation, the field voltage regulator is usually controlled from the auto position, that is, from the AC voltage controller. This controller monitors the generator bus output voltage through VTs and automatically adjusts excitation to maintain the set point voltage. The operator can adjust this set point and thus exercise control while the excitation system is operating in auto. All of these components.